new week, new week, new me. Um, had a bit of fun last week with the Connor challenge, but here we are. New week, as promised. Gain one inch in a day. What do I mean by that? Gaining an inch on the guns, getting swole. Um, yeah, so this is a, a program I discovered just the other week, which I found quite interesting. Apparently there's been countless guys that do this crazy routine where they're doing supersets on their biceps and triceps for a shit ton of hours every day and the swelling and the gains and blah 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 gives them an extra inch circumference. Um, yeah, that's, that's quite a lot to do in a day. Um, and as you can see by my physique, my arms are not exactly fucking 26 inch pythons. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can finally get rid of my scrawny little arms. Let's see if I can get fucking massive. Um, okay, so the way it works, as I said, the original way they were doing it was they would go from 9am till 6pm. And every hour they would do three supersets. Um, superset meaning you back up exercises, so they'd do bicep curls straight into uh, tricep kickbacks, for example. Um, they've since refined it and they now do it as a five hour workout with a superset every 20 minutes. So every hour you're getting your three supersets out, but you're just doing one superset an hour. Uh, uh, 20 minutes, sorry. So yeah, every 20 minutes, a superset. The exercises are, and bear with me, because I'm gonna read off some paper. Standing bicep curls into overhead tricep extensions, three sets of eight. 20 minutes later, you will do seated curls, followed by tricep kickbacks, two sets of 12. And then the next 20 minutes, you're gonna do what they call crazy six curls. So that's a six second up, six second back down so you'll do one set of six on that and then one set of six on a french press which is another sort of overhead tricep movement so i decided to put my own quirky little twist on it and i'm going to be doing it with resistance bands so hang on just a sec um, the next little clip after another one of my great little editing segues is going to be me measuring my my biceps, so we can see how huge they are now. Alrighty, here I am, all back. Not that you knew I had gone. Um, turns out we didn't have a tape measure in the house, so I quickly nipped up to the local and bought one. There we go, inches and centimeters. But, oh, dropped it. But what we want today is the inches. So, here we go. Um, don't have a whole lot of experience in measuring my guns, so let's see how it goes. I'm assuming I want to flex, but we'll do the same next time. <laughs> Alright, take a seat. Watch out for this one, guys. Watch out. A whopping 13 and a half. I know, I know. A lot of people train pretty hard to have a body like mine. Um, Alright, here we go. Let's get started.
day after yesterday, today, as it's commonly known. Um, so I had a little measure up yesterday after the workout. Uh, it only showed half an inch, which I'm just putting down to the pump. So it's the next day after, so let's check the results again. And let's see what we are reading today. And as you can see, no difference. I am tempted to call bullshit on that one. But, who knows? I mean, a lot of you are going to say, yeah, but I didn't use dumbbells, I didn't use free weights, I used resistance bands, blah, blah, blah. In defense of resistance bands, though, they do the same thing that your cable machines are doing. They're keeping tension on the muscle the whole time. So as you're probably aware, let's use bicep curl for an example, there's that point where it gets tough, and then it gets easy, and then it's tough, and then it's easy. Resistance bands and cable machines are keeping tension on your muscle the whole time, so it's working for longer. So there is plenty of evidence out there that shows that resistance bands are a great way to build muscle. So, who knows? Maybe I didn't eat enough yesterday, maybe I didn't drink enough water, maybe my arms are just gonna be small forever. But that's all right. As you can see by a lot of the stuff I do, I'm not doing this to get huge. I'm trying to be a fitter, stronger version of myself. So, yeah. Feel free to give it a go if you want. Look, my arms are sore today. They've definitely worked. Um, I was skeptical from the get-go that you can gain an inch in a day. So, who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll revisit it with dumbbells. Maybe we won't because five hours is a long time to be doing the same thing and for me it's not really worth it. Again, look, if you're trying to get huge, give it a go. Also, if you're trying to get huge, you're probably not going to enjoy my channel, so whatever.